I'm TJ Harmon, aka Relative G on YouTube, overrated underscore Real on Twitter. Get right with my weekly picks for week 16 of the 2014-2015 NFL season. While you're listening, you can also see my record from week 15. So let's get with our week 16 picks. I'm going to first give you my three against the spread picks this week. The first one will be in the game between the Seattle Seahawks and the Arizona Cardinals in a Sunday night football affair, which the big spotlight is on the number one seeded team, the Arizona Cardinals. This could be a defensive game, a great defensive game, because the Cardinals have great front men on defense and defense in the back for the Seahawks. So it's interesting to see how this game will play out because the Cardinals are playing with a third string, not their first string, Carson Palmer, and not the second string of Drew Stan. So this will be an interesting game to see, to test if the Cardinals can still remain number one. And if they don't, the Seahawks could possibly pose a threat. I'm going to tell you to pick the Seahawks minus six over the Arizona Cardinals. My next against the spread will be in the game between the Philadelphia Eagles and Washington Redskins. Week 3, the Eagles did what they had to do to beat Washington. RG3 is not the same quarterback that he was in Week 3. Matter of fact, he's moving in the wrong direction and he's possibly playing in his last two games as a Redskin. Count on it because he has no faith in his team. I think he wants to play for another coach other than Jay Gruden. So, this might have implications that the Redskins just are falling flat right now at 3-11. and 11. So I'm going to tell you to pick the Eagles minus 7 over the Redskins. And my third against the spread picks this week will be in the game between the Pittsburgh Steelers at home against the Kansas City Chiefs. This is going to be a tight game. Uh, running backs are possibly going to be a factor in this game. LaVavian Bell for the Steelers. Jamal Charles for the Chiefs. This may not be a blowout by any means. It could be a close, close game. I tell you to pick the Pittsburgh Steelers minus three and a half over the Kansas City Chiefs. Here we go with our week 16 picks. Let's get to it. Thursday night, we got the Tennessee Titans at the Jacksonville Jaguars. I'm going to tell you to pick the Jaguars at home to beat Tennessee. Philadelphia Eagles are at the Washington Redskins on Saturday afternoon. This is a game the Eagles need to win to keep their playoff hopes alive. And I got faith that they're going to beat the Redskins on the road at FedEx Field. Also on Saturday night game, we got the San Diego Chargers at the San Francisco 49ers. The 49ers are moving in the wrong direction. The Chargers with their head coach is moving in the right direction, even though they may not make the playoffs. But it is good looking for the Chargers moving forward. So I'm going to tell you to pick the Chargers on the road to beat the 49ers at Levi Stadium. The Detroit Lions will face in the Chicago Bears. Bears, I have no faith. The only person I have faith right now is their running back, Matt Forte, but he can't do everything. Cutler, he's just a total wreck right now. I think he'll be done as a Bears quarterback next season. For this season, I'm going to tell you to pick the Lions on the road to beat Chicago. Uh, the Miami Dolphins are home facing the Minnesota Vikings. Teddy Bridgewater making some noise, but I think Ryan Tannehill and company will do better. Dolphins at home to beat the Vikings. Uh, the Carolina Panthers are home facing the Cleveland Browns. Johnny Manziel starts for the Browns. Derek Anderson may get the call again for the Panthers, even though um, Ron Rivera didn't say anything. So I'm counting that he will keep Anderson in this game for this week. Give Cam Newton another week off because it's a possibility that they could still be contenders in the NFC South. I'm going to tell you to pick the Panthers at home to beat the Browns. Uh, Giant Manziel will throw two picks in this game and might get his first NFL touchdown pass. Wait and see in that one because Josh Gordon may be the one to do it. The Baltimore Ravens are on the road facing the Houston Texans. The Houston is going for Casey Keenum. He's not really nobody in the Texans. They don't have any faith right now. Arian Foster and JJY. Can they stop this team of the Ravens? Possibly, but I'm going to tell you the Belmont will win this game on the road in Houston on Sunday. Late games, the New York Giants on the road facing the St. Louis Rams. Rams are tough at home. They could beat Denver and 
They could beat the Raiders, but can they beat the Giants? I believe they can, even though Odell Beckham may get one or two touchdown passes, but it's not going to be like it's been the last few games from. So I'm going to tell you to pick the Rams at home to beat the Giants. The Indianapolis Colts on the road facing the Dallas Cowboys. I'm picking the Colts over the Cowboys at AT&T Stadium. Let's go, Colts. Beat them boys. <clears throat> Excuse me, girls. Buffalo Pills are on the road facing the Oakland Raiders. Raiders are going to lose this game because right now they have the number one pick in the 2015 NFL Draft. So they may lose this game just for the sake of it to keep that from slipping. So the Bills, Kyle Orton wins it over Derek Carr and the Raiders. Sunday Night Football, it's the Arizona Cardinals at home. A big game and a big test against the Seattle Seahawks because they could meet again in the playoffs. Maybe, but I think the Seahawks will edge out this game for defense on the road over the Arizona Cardinals. And on Monday night, the Denver Broncos travel to the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, Peyton Manning <coughs> played through one touchdown pass in three games, two games. He got to keep that momentum going because I think Andy Dalton is going to get picked off at least three times in that game. Count them. Three times. Because he couldn't do it to the Browns in that Thursday night football game. And I don't think he's going to do anything on Monday night football. So, either way, Dalton will lose his second straight primetime game at home. This time to the Broncos in Cincinnati. Those are my weekly picks for week 16. Will the yours post them down at the bottom of this page. I'm TJ Harmon, a.k.a. Relative G on YouTube, or the underscore Rel on Twitter. Good luck on your picks, and we will see you right back here next week for the final games of the 2014-2015 the, uh, regular season of the NFL. Talk to you guys soon, and subscribe again. Thanks again for watching.